Good morning everyone, so today's a bit different, we're going to be attempting two Strava KOMs. The first one is a running segment and then the second one will be a cycling segment. So I'm just walking down to where it starts, I'm going to start running in a bit. And yeah, it should be quite good, we will see. I thought I'd go early to try and beat the heat. It's 7am but it's already about 27 degrees so it's probably not going to be ideal but we will see. Alright, let's get started. So just about to get started, this is my warm up, just running down to the beach where the segment starts. So my heart rate is really low at the start, starts about 90, very easy to begin with, just trying to warm up the legs. So the segment I'm trying to beat is about 2 kilometers long, my personal record is 8 minutes 30, but the number one guy did it in 7 minutes. So to try and beat this I need to run at a pace of around 3.30 minutes per kilometer, which is pretty much an all out sprint for me. So. It will be pretty damn challenging, especially in this heat. So it's about 34 degrees at 7 a.m. So it is pretty much the hottest day of the year so far. So let's see how it goes. So let's speed things up a bit. So for the warm up, I'm trying to keep the pace around seven minutes per kilometer, but it's mostly all downhill. So I tend to go a bit faster than that, trying to make sure I keep the heart rate really low. It's already gone up to about 140 by the time I get down to the beach, which is really quite high considering how slow I've been running. It's an absolutely beautiful day, but it's not ideal for running. However, I do prefer this to when I did my half marathon, where it was just foggy and horrible. So I'm just about to get to the beginning of the segment, so I'm trying to bring my pace up a bit. My heart rate is still pretty low, about 130. So yeah, it's just about to start here. So I need to keep my pace, which is in the bottom left, at about 330 per kilometer. My personal record for a 5k is 22 and a half minutes, which is 4 minutes and 30 seconds per kilometer. So doing 3 minutes and 30 for 2 kilometers will probably be very, very difficult. Anyway, the pace is coming down now. I'm getting it to about 4, four minutes per kilometer, which is not quite fast enough. But my heart rate is already really spiking up to 160 already. Cadence is quite fast at 180 steps a minute. So I just need to bring my pace down a bit more. I don't want to sprint all out at the beginning because in this heat I will just blow up straight away. I thought coming out at about 7am would be early enough to beat the heat, but obviously not. I think I need to come out at like 5 or maybe even like 4am before the sun even comes up. So I brought my pace down to about 3.35, which is almost quick enough. I need it to be 3.30 to be able to win. So this is very different to my normal running. Normally I'll just run at quite an easy pace just to get the cardio in. I normally don't run fast because I find it horrible. I would much rather ride my bike to get in some more intense cardio. So trying something different like this will be a bit of a challenge, which is always good. Yeah, my pace is already starting to drop off a bit. 3.40 per kilometer, about 10 seconds slower than I need to be, and I am already blowing up. This heat is doing me in. I definitely underestimated how hot it was, so if you have any tips for running or cycling in the heat, put them down in the comments, that would be very useful. To be honest, it's not even the heat, it's mainly the humidity. I'm just dripping with sweat already, it's disgusting. But I'm hoping to get out more in this heat just so I can try to acclimatize to it and hopefully it'll make me stronger. Anyway, my pace is back down into the four minutes. It's really dropped off already. I lasted about one minute at the pace I needed. So yeah, I already know that there's no hope of getting this KOM. Maybe in the winter when it's a bit cooler, I can give it another go. But yeah, this one's definitely over. So let's skip to the end and see how I did. All right, let's see how I did. I know I didn't beat it because I basically gave up after 500 meters because it's so hot and humid. 90% humidity, ridiculous. I'm sweating just walking. So yeah, no excuses though. I'll be back on a colder day to try and take this one. I just don't think I really have it in the legs at the moment to run that fast, but it's a good goal to walk. To. It's a good goal to work towards. All right, let's open up Strava, see what's what. All right, morning run, segment, segment, segment. So I got a PR. No, I didn't. I got a third place. I couldn't even beat my own PR. So yeah, way too hot. I'll definitely be back to try that again. The problem is I went out so fast at the beginning. Let's see what my pace was for that. Actually, it wasn't even that fast. 
All right, that's it. Let's try the bike once. I'm gonna go home, have a shower, and then get on the bike and see if I can take this hilly KOM right next to my house. All right, so I've hopped on the bike now. It's about 11 a.m. and my God, have I chosen the worst day to do this. It's now about 40 degrees and it is humid and horrible. So just going to get a quick warm up in just by riding around the community. I don't really need to warm up because I'm warm just by walking outside. So we're just coming up to the start of the segment now. This hill is right next to my house. So I feel like I have home advantage. So I should really own this hill. It's not a particularly popular segment on Strava. Only 12 people have ever attempted it. I'm currently sitting in second with a time of one minute and 59. The person in first has a time of one minute 46. So I need to save 13 seconds. So yeah, it's very, very steep. It starts at about 5% and then tops up at the end at about 15, 16%. So it's gonna be pretty hard, but I do feel like I have a better chance of taking this segment than I do of taking the running segment. So just about to start here, waiting for a nice clean line into this. I've got I'm just gonna follow this truck thing here. And it's actually quite good because he is pacing me up this hill, which is quite nice. 77 RPM, my heart rate has absolutely spiked already. At the bottom of the hill, it was about 120 and now it's already up to 160. So I'm just putting in maximum effort now to try and keep up with this little truck. It's about 4% now, so it's not too steep. And now he's beginning to pull away from me. My speed is dropping. It was about 25 kilometers per hour at the beginning, now it's about 15, slowly getting steeper and steeper. It's about 16% here. Getting out to sea here, just trying to really push down and I am actually going to overtake him. Wonderful. Yeah, so 172 beats a minute, about halfway up the hill, it gets even steeper up this bit, but almost, almost there. My RPM is so slow, really slow cadence, 55. I'm still in the big ring, which is probably a mistake, 11, 12%. My speed is almost dropping below 10 kilometers an hour. Just getting overtaken here. 177 beats per minute here. I'm not a hill climbing machine, as you can see. I just need to lose some weight and then hopefully it'll be better. Yeah, just coming up to the final bit now. This is where it gets really horrible. The speed is really dropping now. Just six kilometers an hour, eight kilometers an hour just trying to put in a final surge of energy, 179 beats per minute. And now this final corner is the most annoying bit. This is where it really ramps up. You can see, if you look at the left, how steep it is, 14, 15% here, and I can barely get it up. I'm just using every last bit of energy here. I did drop down to the small ring, but I think I really messed it up because I got bogged down. So yeah, I should have dropped down to the small ring first and now it's leveling out, just the final push. My RPM is really high now. Just trying to spin out the legs, trying to get to the end. And here we are just at the entrance. And that is that, let's see how I did. So I did it in two minutes and 36 seconds, which is my third fastest time, which doesn't seem right because I put lots of effort into it. So there's something wrong with that and I'm gonna find out what it is. So hopping onto Strava on the PC, I can get a bit more information and I can see I made a horrible rookie error of not finishing the segment. Well, I stopped about 10 meters before the segment actually finishes, so that's my fault really. But I can see the time along the top and I don't think I would have made it anyway. I probably would have come a bit, a few seconds short of the KOM, which is a shame. Anyway, it was a very hot day, so I'm gonna try this again when it's cooler and see if it makes a big difference. Anyway, that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for subscribing and I hope you enjoy. I will see you in the next one.